Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are here in the Amaron Hotel in Munich and this hotel is something special because it's actually inside a huge car collection slash garage. So why do I say garage? Well, because a lot of people show their private cars here in those glass boxes, you will see them in a few seconds. And there's also a lot of cars which belong to the museum themselves. And the museum is called the Motor World Munich or Motor World München here in Germany. And they have a lot of interesting cars. For example, they have the original Nissan Skyline from the Fast and the Furious, which is the actual one that Paul Walker drove, which is really sick. And yeah, as said, the hotel we are staying here is inside the museum, which is really nice because there are some rooms which allow you to have a direct view into the museum just outside of your window. Unfortunately, we didn't get one of those rooms. Our view is, well, a bit shitty to be honest. But hey, those rooms exist and it looks nice on the internet. Unfortunately, I said we didn't get one of those rooms, but they are available. Okay, so now we're gonna explore the museum and I will take you with me on that trip and let's see if we can get some bangers.
back at home and I know that today's video was a bit of a shorter one but I think it's pretty nice the way it turned out because to see the best of the best I have been able to to shoot there and yeah in terms of cars there is something for everyone like there are a lot of McLarens, a lot of Bugattis there also have been two BMW M1s and M6 track edition there have been so many nice cars and like of course the skyline from Paul Walker we don't have to talk about this I didn't know that this car is there. I mean, I knew that there is a GTR, but I didn't know that this was the original one. And I know that I'm saying this quite a lot. To me, it's just insane to see this car in real life because I'm a huge fan of the Fast and the Furious series and also, of course, of Paul Walker and seeing this car live, almost able to touch it, it feels amazing. But yeah, it's not just that. The general flair of the location of the motor world is awesome. Everything is a bit more industrial. It's a mixture of modern and old and it's, it's just incredible. In terms of the hotel, the Amaron Hotel, so to get things started on this topic, I just want to give you a bit of more insight so you can understand more what I'm talking about and what my problems are. So just for reference, we have been paying a about 130 bucks per night, I think. But that's almost the cheapest price you can get. Everything I've seen besides of the price we have paid would have been way more expensive. But I don't think you have to go to the Amaran Hotel in order to experience the motor world in its whole glory. The motor world is open for everyone. You can just walk in and walk around and see all the cars. So I'd recommend you to go for a hotel that's maybe a bit more to the city center and then just doing a day trip to the motor world. That's what I would do now. With all that said and done, I hope you have an amazing day everyone. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram to see all the photos and all the shots I get because everything you see in the videos I'm doing here will also be uploaded to Instagram. And yeah, now there's nothing more to say than goodbye. See you in the next one.